Hi scientists, welcome back to Science Lab. Last time we tested density, that is the ability to sink or float, which is a physical property of matter. Today we're going to test solubility. It is another physical property to classify matter. It is the ability of a substance to dissolve in another substance. Dissolve means that it's going to spread out evenly. It doesn't mean it will disappear, it means it's evenly distributed in the liquid. The substances that we're going to test today are chocolate powder, cornstarch, sugar, Kool-Aid, salt, and pepper. You should have already made a prediction on the Google Doc in Canvas. If you have not made a prediction yet, you need to stop the video, go to Canvas, and make your prediction before you watch the rest of the video. It's like reading the end of the book before you read the beginning of the book. So please make your prediction first. And you need to take notes because at, after this video, you're going to go back into Canvas and put the results. So get a piece of paper. You're going to make a chart that looks like this. You're going to put substance on one side. Here's our substances. And you're going to put the result on this side whether it dissolved or did not dissolve on this side. So take a minute, find a piece of paper, find a pencil, make your chart. Looks like this. And as we're doing it, you can write the substances down. Okay, what we're going to do is I am going to add the substance to a vial and then we are going to shake it up a little bit, let it sit while we do the rest of them. If it evenly distributes, we shouldn't see anything on the bottom of the vial. If it dissolves, we shouldn't be able to see little particles on the bottom. If it does dissolve, or if it doesn't dissolve, we should be able to see the particles. So let's go ahead and start with our chocolate powder. Make sure that you are taking notes so that you can add this to your Google Doc. So we're going to start with chocolate powder. What was your prediction on the chocolate powder? Did you think it would dissolve or not dissolve? Let's try it out. So I have some chocolate powder. I'm going to add it to the vial. I have my graduated cylinder that we're going to, full of water that we're going to add. I'm going to fill it about halfway full. I'm going to put the lid on. We're going to agitate it or shake it up. And then we're just going to let it sit here until we do the rest of the powders. And then we'll come back and see what happens. It smells good. I like chocolate. Okay, so the next substance that we're going to do is the cornstarch. Cornstarch is used for baking. It's used to thicken things up. So if your mom's making gravy, cornstarch kind of makes it thick. It's also kind of messy. It's very powdery. And anytime I use cornstarch, I get it everywhere. Maybe your mom or dad aren't as messy as me in the kitchen. So we are going to add some cornstarch in our vial. Take my graduated cylinder, add about half water, put the lid on, agitate it, right now it looks like it dissolved, but let's just let it sit and see, and here's what the chocolate powder looks like, let's see what happens. Okay, the next one is the sugar. I have little packets of sugar from Dunkin' Donuts that I'm going to add to the vial. What did you make on your prediction? Did you say that they were going to dissolve or not dissolve? So here's my sugar. Add some water, about half full. A little bit more than half, that's okay. 
agitate or shake. And this is what it looks like so far. We'll let it sit here. The generic Kool-Aid, Flavor Aid. Don't forget, you should have these listed. We're right here, Kool-Aid. What did you say about the Kool-Aid? Do you think it will dissolve or not dissolve? Strawberry flavor. Ooh. We're going to add a little bit of powder. What's interesting is that it's a white powder. But when I add water, look what happens. Mmm. Remember, scientists, we never smell anything that we're unsure of by doing this. I know this is Kool-Aid, so that's why I did that. But if it was something I was unsure of, remember we waft. You learned that in third, fourth, and now in fifth grade. Okay, we're going to shake it up, agitate it. And we're going to let this sit. Okay, moving on to our salt. What did you say about salt? What was your prediction? Going to add some salt in here. There's my salt. Add some water. Shake it up. like right now. I'm going to let it sit for a minute. Last one, pepper. Add my pepper. I ran out of water. Luckily I have a beaker backup of water. lid on. If I wanted to be very scientific about this, I would make sure that I timed how long I shook each one. Because remember, um, we want to make sure that we control certain parts of our experiment, but we will talk about that more later. Okay, so now we're going to go back and we're going to see what each one looks like. You should have had time to do this. So now let's go back to chocolate powder. The result. Do you see anything left in the bottom? Or did it dissolve? Did it completely and evenly go throughout the liquid? Remember, dissolve doesn't mean that it's clear because obviously this is not clear. Dissolve means did the powder evenly distribute through the water? I think it did. So you are going to put that chocolate powder is soluble in water, or another word for it would be dissolves. So the chocolate powder dissolves in the water. Like I said, you can put either word. These two words mean the same thing. Okay, scientists, next one. Oh, look at this one. Do you see... This camera's not working very well. Can you see that there's white stuff along the side? Do you see that powder? So it did not dissolve in the water. 
There's white powdery stuff that's left on the side. And apparently that lid's not on tight because it's leaking everywhere. So for the cornstarch, the cornstarch is insoluble. It did not dissolve. So you're going to put cornstarch does not dissolve. Or you can put the word insoluble. These two words are synonyms. They mean the same thing. What about the sugar? I do see some of the sugar floating in there. Do you see that? Maybe, maybe it's air bubbles. I think it is air bubbles. Do you see how clear it is? Just because it clear, it's clear does not mean that it is uh, all clear liquids are not because it's dissolved. So, it is evenly distributed. Evenly distributed. So we are going to say that the sugar dissolved in the water. The sugar dissolved in the water. What about the Kool-Aid? Is it evenly distributed? Yes. The Kool-Aid is evenly distributed. That's why we have Kool-Aid, right? If it didn't dissolve in water, would it be a good drink to have? Would this be a good drink to have if it didn't dissolve in water or milk? So both of these, Kool-Aid and Chocolate powder dissolve. Salt dissolves. It's evenly distributed. What about the pepper? Come on, camera. Do you see the chunks at the bottom? It's having a hard time focusing. Do you see the chunks? There are pieces of the substance that are not evenly distributed in the water. They're floating at the top, they're floating at the bottom. So we say that pepper is not soluble in water. Another word for insoluble is does not dissolve. So pepper does not dissolve. So our results are, one more time, dissolves. Does not dissolve. Because when I tip it over, there's powder left over in the side of it. Sugar dissolves. Kool-Aid dissolves. Salt dissolves. Pepper does not dissolve or is insoluble. Okay, scientists, that's it for solubility. Remember, it's another physical property of matter. And I'll see you next time in the lab. Have a great weekend.